All right, you guys, so we're going to talk about how to get girls to maintain the attraction in that relationship. So how to get girls, you guys, it's pretty simple. As I mentioned in many of my other videos, actions speak louder than words. You see something you like, you walk up and you speak to her. You talk to her, see if this sort of attraction and chemistry is going to go somewhere else. You make that date, you exchange phone numbers, contact information. If you met her right there, then you maybe go to, you know, for a walk. Depends on your situation, you know. You just kind of go from there. You play by ear. you got to take the lead as a guy. So how do you maintain that attraction? Let's say now you're in this relationship with this girl. Just like anything else, you guys, you know, things become monotonous in a relationship. So how are you going to continue on making sure that uh, the attraction is the same or you keep moving on with attraction in this relationship. How are you gonna maintain this attraction with her? And it goes for her too as well, but we're gonna talk about us guys, you know, how do you do that with a girl? First of all, you know, you figure out your girl, you know, you've been with her for a while, you know her wants and needs and hopes and dreams, very important, you know, what are the things that are important to her? She like a, you know, a high maintenance, low maintenance, medium maintenance type of girl, you know, fantastic, no matter what type of girl she is, as long as she fits into your whole paradigm into what you like and what you want and what you can comfortably maintain as a guy, right? Pretty simple as that. And then you find out about her, that's how you're gonna maintain, by finding out the things, her hopes and dreams and wants and needs. Now, you know, girls love spontaneity, so it's about being spontaneous as a guy. Never be, you know, you know, you heard that term humdrum, you know, the same thing all the time. That, you know, leads to boredom. That's why I mentioned, you know, these relationships, they take a lot of energy from you as a man. You know, it takes emotional maintenance. You know, you have to entertain each other sometimes in a relationship. So it depends, again, what type of girl you have. Figure her out and what's important to her. You're gonna know and understand it, how to keep and maintain this attraction. But I can tell you this, I've dated anywhere from the most simplest organic type of girl to, I'd say, you know, a very high fashion, high maintenance type of gal. And they basically, generally, all women require that emotional support, they, you know, they want to fill uh, that man's vibe. They want to feel your energy, your leadership. You know, you, they want to feel like you're by them. All right. So, how you're going to maintain this attraction is just by being you. Become the best version of you. Don't let yourself go. Follow your purpose. Uh, women, lo women love guys that follow their purpose. Now, when you're in a relationship, a lot of guys will tend to kind of fall off their purpose. That's one thing you don't want to do. Don't put her on a pedestal, you guys. Always maintain yourself, keep yourself dedicated towards your purpose, the things that are important to you. That actually will create attraction on her behalf that she cannot sway you away from the things that are important to you. It's very, very important. It's kind of like the unsaid. Women want to see that. So by you maintaining yourself, following your purpose, that's going to create that attraction. Then the other attraction comes from is just kind of like uh, stepping up the monotony in a relationship. You know, when you, once you guys get used to each other, the honeymoon's over per se, right? Then, you know, how do you keep, how do you keep it spunky in that relationship? How do you keep that curiosity going? Well, you know, you keep it going by just maintaining yourself, do things uh, that will surprise her. Again, you know your girl, you know what's important to her. Little tiny things, little tiny gifts. It's not the big things generally, you guys. It's the smaller things for most women. You know, you surprise her for with a dinner, with uh, a trip, the things you do. You go different places, you know, little gifts, little tiny things you do. You make her dinner, you make her, you know, a, a bubble bath, bring some wine, you know, learn a little bit about, you know, uh, cheeses and things like that. Bring some culture involved in it. All these little things are important. That's how you're gonna kind of keep that relationship going because it, again, relationships take maintenance and that's all part of it. It's a lot of energy. That's why I always mention, if you're not ready for that, don't do it, man, because it takes energy from you. It takes energy. But if you have that extra energy and that and you wanna do that maintenance, because you know, once that honeymoon is over and you know, let's just say, uh, you know, let's get a little funny over here. You know, she, uh, you know, uses the bathroom, forgot to flush the toilet and you know, you, you, you see inside the toilet you kind of figure out, you know, everything's not sugar and spice and all nice. I don't care what kind of hottie she is, right? You, she gets sick in front of you. She blows her nose, you know, or whatever, or just has stomach issues or whatever. You know, that's when you know the honeymoon. How do you keep, again, how do you keep that relationship going, that attraction going? 
Again, let's put all that aside, what I just mentioned, but that's the reality of any deep relationship. You just gotta, again, figure her out, figure what's important to her and be uh, spontaneous, super important. Women love spontaneity. And again, it's good for you as well. And yeah, go from there, have some fun with it and uh, have stories to tell at the end of the day. All right, you guys, until the next one, we'll catch you later.